In this problem, we have a rectangle with diagonals drawn in. And since a rectangle is a type of parallelogram, you know that these diagonals are going to bisect each other, just like they do in a parallelogram. In a rectangle, the diagonals are also congruent. So AC is the same length as BD. So when they bisect each other, you get four equal length pieces. So all of these halves of the diagonal are congruent to each other. That's going to help us a little bit with this problem. Here it says AE is this algebraic expression 2x plus 5. So that's this one, 2x plus 5. And CE is 5x minus 4. So that's this one, 5x minus 4. And the measure of angle EDA, let's see, EDA, so that's this one, is 57. And we want to find BD. Let me just highlight that. So we want to find this whole diagonal. And we want to find the measure of EAB, so this angle right there. Well, let's start with finding the length of that diagonal. We have these algebraic expressions, 2x plus 5 and 5x minus 4. Because these two pieces are congruent, we can just set those two expressions equal to each other. We know that AE equals CE, so 2x plus 5 has to equal 5x minus 4. And then we can just solve for x and then plug them back in to figure out the length of the diagonal. So let's see, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And we'll get 5 over here, and we'll get 3x over here, minus 4. Then we'll add 4 to both sides. We get 3x equals 9. And then we divide by 3. We get x equals 3. We're not done here. That's not an answer. That's just a step along the way to find the length of this diagonal. And I know we're looking for the other diagonal, but they're going to be the same we need to plug this back in so to this original equation. So 3 plugged in here would be uh, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5. So this is 11. And actually, I'm going to stop there because once we find 1, we've really found them all. I mean, I could plug the 3 in up here and calculate this side, but it's going to be 11. You can try that on your own if you want. So each of these halves of the diagonal is 11, which means the whole thing must be 22. So BD is 22. All right, now we need to find this angle EAB, this angle right in here. How are we going to do that? Well, one thing that you should notice, and actually let me highlight this a little bit. Since all of the diagonals are congruent, that means this diagonal is congruent to this diagonal. And then with this line here, AD, what we get is an isosceles triangle. And we know that this angle is 57. Well, so this angle must be 57 as well. Now, that's not the angle we're looking for, but this, these two angles add up to 90 degrees. So all we need to do is take 90 minus 57. And we get uh, 33 degrees. So that is a little bit of work with the diagonals of rectangles.